Good evening. Good evening. Great. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? It was a long day, but nice. Okay, great. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. <clears throat> it's hot today. It's very hot today, huh? Hello, good evening. Okay. Good evening. evening. No, I, I, I think it's, it's not. It's more like um, wet. The water. <clears throat> yeah, it's humid. That's true. It's true, it's humid. Hold on, let me check one thing. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my video. Okay, where is everybody? Yesterday, hello, yesterday I had a lot of people Okay. So how was your day today? Good? So good. It's, yes, uh, good. Yes. Good. Good day. Very good. Very good. A lot of work, but good. Wow, today is Wednesday. We're in July, right? So. Yeah, right. Next week is August. Mariana. So next week in, in August, I think is when, when we start seeing in the supermarket Christmas. It's in August, September, right? <laughs> it's about September, right? Yeah, that you go to the supermarket and, and, and you see Christmas and, and it's crazy. Yeah. But I don't know if this year is going to be like that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. it's going to be later, like October or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Mm, that's true. It's true. Okay. Yes, sure. Anya, how are, yes Daniel. Uh, sorry. I, w I will be on the, on the call, but I, w I will join on... In a moment, because I am in a work meeting. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you for telling me. No problem. Okay, let me see one thing here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay, so let's start. Today we're going to learn something that is called a passive voice. Do you know what that is, passive voice? No, no, no I don't. Okay, um, okay, no problem. That's what we're going to do today. And um, I will teach you how to do it. I'm going to share my screen with you. Hold on. Let me see if I have a good audio today because last time I didn't have good audio. Okay, um, 
I'm going to share my screen with you, okay? Tell me if you can't see it. Okay. Now we can see. Okay, you can see my screen now? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Now. Great, yeah. okay. So this is the lesson plan, and then this is the lesson objective today. The lesson objective. In this class, participants will be first introduced to use the passive voice of by. By. Okay. Who's saying, uh, let me see. Yes, yes, see, Yesenia, right? Yes. Yesenia, what music do you like? Mm, I like off, off type of music, salsa, romantic. I don't have any favorite type of music. Do you know the song, Ojala? No. You don't know that song? No. I know it. Oh, okay. Foster, who is that song by? Uh, that song is by uh, Silvio Rodriguez. Okay, yeah, good. It's Silvio Rodriguez. So it's sung by Silvio Rodriguez. All right. Um, yeah, you said yes. What is Silvio Rodriguez? Trova? Trova? No? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's Trova. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I like Silvio Rodriguez. Only maybe 20 minutes because then it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, no, Trova, I You're like right. Trova. Yeah, tro Trova music is good, but only 20 minutes because then it's boring. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, uh, okay. So tell me if you can see this video, okay? I'm going to put play. It says, do you see it says passive voice with yes. bye? With bye, yes. All right, great. So here's the video. Please tell me if you have audio. Can you hear? No. No, we can't. no, we can't. no, 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 can't hear. no, I can't hear. no, 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 Passive voice. I will fix that by tomorrow because I don't know why the audio is bad today. Do you see my screen right now? I'm in Word. Yes. 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 You're typing. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes. It says passive voice. Mm -hmm. Passive voice. Okay. Passive voice is very important and it's very simple. Um, let me tell you why. Okay, do you see the story? Yes. 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 All right. So here we have by. This is what the mouse, oops. This is what we want to focus on today, by. Okay, so it says the cat ate the mouse. First of all, what tense is this? Future, past? Present, yes. what tense is it? Simple, simple past. past. It's simple past. 
Why? Why is the simple past? Because the verb is in past. Okay, good. Because uh -huh. the verb is in past. Yeah. Eight. So it says the cat ate the mouse. And the mouse was eaten by the cat. What is the difference? What do you think the difference is? You in the second one, you are using past past Arsco. participle. Okay, good. I like yes. that. Okay. And I think uh, in the first one, we are talking about the cat. And the last one, I think uh, we're talking about the mouth. Okay. Okay. Good. Is the is the in the same uh, meaning, but in, in different ways, right? How how is this different? No, but but you have a point there. You have a point there. For the action. Uh, that the cat do. Okay, yeah, because in, in, in both stories, the cat is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, the mouse is dead. The mouse. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. In, in both stories, the mouse is dead. So one of these is active and one of these is passive. Which one do you think is active? Maricela. The first one. The first one, the first yeah, one is active. The first one. Why? Um, I don't remember my doing uh, was lesson at school, but mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I I think that, that uh, the subject... in the first in the first person, like the cat ate the mouse, ate the cat. Uh, do the do the action? I don't know. I okay. don't know if it will. Okay, okay. Well, we're there. We're there. Victor, you were saying something. I think that in the first one, the subject we're talking about is who's doing the action, and in the second one, the subject we're talking about is is not doing the action. So in the first one, who is the subject? The cat. And in the mm -hmm. second one? Mouse. mouse. No, it's always the cat. No, this no. Is, this yeah, the, the cat, cat too. Too. The mouse is the complement. Okay, okay. I think you, everyone understands, but let me explain to you so we can completely understand, okay? Okay. First of all, active, yes, uh, it, it, you are correct, Maricela. Um, the cat ate the mouse, it, it's active. And the reason why is, first of all, to understand an active and passive voice, do you know the difference? Be, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you know what is a subject and an object? What is a yes. subject? The subject is uh, who made the action? Yeah, okay. The subject does the action. Okay. And the object? Is who received the action? Receive the action. Receives the action, exactly. So in this case, the cat ate the mouse. What is the subject? The cat. The, the cat, cat, exactly. The cat. And here the mouse ate uh, the mouse was eaten by the cat. What is the subject? The cat. The cat. The, the, the cat, cat is always the, the subject. But what is the difference yeah. between both of them? So what is the difference one between the active and the passive? Because one of them is in active voice and the second one is in a passive voice. It's in, in the first one is, is, is more specific, I think. Okay, yes, but give me more examples. So why, what is the difference in the cat here and the cat here? In passive voice, the, the verb uh, focus the subject. Okay, good. I like I like that you know the difference, but I think you're trying too much to give me grammar. And it's good, and it's good. But now give me logic. Give me logic. In the first one, the cat is 
It's in the first, in, in the, at the beginning, beginning of the, of the sentence. sentence. Exactly, and good. The, the cat is classes. in the beginning of the sentence. And, and the second one, uh, the it's subject in, is in the, the end. Is at in the, the end. end. At the end, exactly. Okay, so yes, that's it. When we speak active, we always say the subject first and the object last. And when we speak passive, the object is first and the subject is last. Okay, and the reason this is called active voice because normally in English and in Spanish, maybe 80 or 90% of the time, we always speak active, always. But it's okay to speak passive too. Yes, but, um, and that's pretty much the difference. Um, in an active voice, and that's why it's called active speaking, active voice, because it's more active than the passive, obviously. But um, normally, we always speak active. From today, tomorrow, and the rest of the week, the rest of the year, pay attention when people speak. People always say, I, 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 I. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. 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 Okay. Who works here in sales? Me, teacher. Who? Jose Perez. Jose, Jose, you work in sales? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, if you work in sales, you in Tigo, right? No, I sell uh, beauty supplies. Beauty supplies. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, okay, good. Who else works in sales here, like in a call center? Okay, well, let me, let me give you a, a tip. When you work in sales, especially in a call center, I would really recommend you to practice the passive voice. And I will explain to you why. Okay, first of all, we have the difference, right? What is the difference? Um, Madeline, what is the difference between an active voice and a passive voice? Uh, the subject in the active voice is in the beginning of the sentence and the passive voice, the subject is in the, at the end of the sentence. And okay. another difference is the active voice, you are talking in simple past and passive voice is in past participle. Okay, good. Uh, let me stop you there. Uh, okay. uh, no, no, but it's okay. It's, it's a good because mm -hmm. um, actually the passive voice, the verb is always going to be in a, in a past participle, always. Mm -hmm. But it is simple past too because we have was. Mm -hmm. So this is simple past and this is simple past. Both of them are simple past. Okay. Okay. But that's a good point because we will see that later. Okay, so very good. So um, yeah, that's the difference. Okay, so there are two explanations of an active voice and a passive voice. And right now, Madeline, you just gave me, what the hell is this? Sorry about that. Okay, Madeline, you gave me one explanation, which is the grammar explanation. And thank you, it was very good. So yes, an active voice, the subject is first and the object is last. And a passive voice, the, um, the object is first and the, um, and the subject is last. That's one explanation. Now, can you give me the second explanation, which is the logic? So, okay, so we understand. But if these two are the same, so what is the difference? Um, so why speak, why speak the two, the two, the two voices? Because in the first one, the 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 subject is is um, is directly doing the action, and in the second one, the object is receiving the action. Okay, good. But yes, yes. But that's the that's the um, grammatical explanation, and it's good. But tell me. What is the other explanation, like the logic? So if, so, okay, I tell you, okay, so I understand. Okay, so active is this and passive is that. So then why, why do we say it in both ways? 
Mm. Even in Spanish, why do we speak active and passive? Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, good, good. It's, no, it's all right. I will explain to you right now. Does anybody know? Maybe to be formal. The question, please. Okay, um, Madeline gave us the explanation, which was very good. Um, you know, the active and passive voice, she gave us the grammatical explanation. But there's a second explanation, now is the logical explanation. So, do you uh, know? Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, maybe you, when you want to do an emphasis in something, in the first one, you do the emphasis in the cat. And the second one, you do the emphasis in the mouth. Exactly, yes. Is, is who or what you want to make important? Do you want to give importance to the cat or to the mouse? Yes? So imagine this, ima imagine you're driving and, and you see a cat after a mouse and you say, oh my God, look, mom, look, mom, the cat is going to eat the mouse. So like Luis said, you're giving emphasis to the cat or you're making the cat important in that sentence. But you can say, oh, mom, 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 look, look, the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. I mean, the cat, um, the poor mouse is dead, <laughs> but... <laughs> But the difference is here, I made the mouse more important. Okay? So do you understand? Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, so, so those are the two explanations right now uh, for active and passive voice. We have the grammatical and the, lo and the logical. So the grammatical, one more time, is active voice is when we have the subject first, object last, Passive voice, we have the object first and the subject last. I'm sorry, did I say that right? Active voice is the subject first, object last. Mm -hmm. Passive voice is object first, subject last. Everybody understands? Yes. But okay. now we have the second explanation. Yeah. So when do we speak active and when do we speak passive, teacher? Oh, okay. Whoever you want to make important. I mean, in the sentence, if you want to make the subject important, speak active. If you want to make the object um, the um, object important, you speak passive. And, and, and this is why I'm telling you that normally in English and Spanish, people always speak active. We always make the subject more important. Yes? And it's not bad, but sometimes, sometimes it's, it's good to speak passive. Now, I'm going to go back to Josue. Josue, in, in a call center or when you work, people that work in call centers or, you know, people say I too much. This is what I'm going to do. I will give you. I will do this. I will, I will, I will. People always speak I, always speak active. But if you speak passive, it's better because you say, okay, okay, sir, you will receive an extra credit by us, you know? So then you're, you're making the um, customer more important. So remember when you work, if you have your business, who is more important? The customer, client. the client, of course. So this is a good trick. I recommend you if someday you work in sales, um, speak passive. Always make, always put the client first because that's that a lot of people always put themselves first. I hear a lot of my coworkers say, okay, Mr. Client, I will send you a free upgrade or I will send you a free cell phone and this and that. And says, no, Mr. Client, you are a good client, so you will receive a, a good, a free cell phone by the company. Okay, so one day if you ever have a job, you can practice with me. I will practice with you in sales. <laughs> okay? okay, now, Madeline had a good point here. She said, one thing is very important if the active is simple past, the passive too. 
both of them have to be the same tense. Okay? Hello? Okay. Okay, so if this is simple future, passive is simple future too. The only difference is that in passive, we will always use the verb in past participle. So let me give you this example. Uh, Luis Enrique. Yes. Okay, he, here we have the cat is going to eat the mouse. Um, two questions, well, actually three. Question number one, is this active or passive? This is active. It's active. Because the subject is at the first of the sentence. Okay, good. So, um, is the, what tense is this? It's, um, ING4, we use, we, we actually use as ING4. Okay, that's not correct. Look at it very good, look, it says, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Oh, yes, it's an active voice, but we, we had to use the, the ING4 for the for the future. No, but what tense is this? This is past, this is simple past. I just, uh, Future. Simple future. Very good. It's simple future. The cat is going to eat the mouse. So this is simple future. Why? Because we have going to, correct? Yes. All right. So can you tell me what is the passive? Luis Enrique, tell me if you can't. If you can't, please ask somebody to help you. Somebody in your class. Okay. Um, I think it's in the mouse will be... Well, that, that's true. You, you, obviously, you start with the mouse. Good. Uh, the mouse is, is, will, uh, will go, will, no, I don't know. It's okay, no. It's going to eat them by the mouse. By the cat. Correct. It's correct eating. By the cat. By the cat. It's actually look. The mouse is going to be. Bing. Going to be. Oh. Será you, comido. Yes. Bing. Now, in this case, we use this verb because. We use the, the original verb in past participle. So like, look, what is the past of B? B. No, the, the past, was, simple past was, 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 was. Okay, good. So that's why here in the past, we have the mouse was eaten by the cat because it's simple past, right? But here is simple future. So the cat is going to eat the mouse and the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. So we always use the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, does anybody have any questions so far? Questions, questions? All right, I like, I like when you don't have questions because then I will I... ask you. <laughs> No, I, I don't have a question, but I, ha I have a preoccupation. <laughs> okay, I have a doubt. I have, I'm worried I have a doubt. because um, uh, the, the, I, I uh, no me he aprendido, no, I, I don't know the, 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 the old forms, the verbs. For, for this structure. I, oh, okay. The, the forms, like how, how to say the past participle. When you use ate, when you use eaten, when you use eat. Okay, one thing I will and tell you, is one, thing, one thing I will okay. tell you that in passive voice, you will always use the main verb and past participle, always. So that's easy. In passive. In passive. 
but the verb before that, it determines if it's future, present, or past. Here, let's do one thing. First of all, okay, good. So I see that you do understand active and passive voice. We understand that, fine. It's good, right? We understand? Yes. Okay, yes. Now, now, yes. Now, now let's practice the tenses, the simple tenses. So we'll practice the simple future. Simple future, right? Mm -hmm. Present and past. All right, we'll, we'll practice those. Oh, I have a question now. Who has been very quiet today? Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, I, I... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, Elizabeth, you've been good. You've been good the today. question. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, Brenda, I meant Brenda. I'm sorry. Yes, Kareem. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. I invest in invisible for you. <laughs> no, you, you, know, you know, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> okay, Brenda. Hello. Hello, Brenda. Hello. Okay, Brenda. Now we will have this. I hate this. I want it in English. Okay. Brenda, do you understand the difference between an active and passive voice? Yes, I understand. So if you understand, what is the difference between I and me? What What is I? It's the personal pronoun. It's a personal pronoun, Can you, uh, I, and what is me? Well, give it's me an example, uh, give, give me an example with I. I love Rock and roll. Eat, no, I love eat pizza. I love to eat pizza. Very good. Give me an example with me. Um, do you miss me? Do you miss me? Very good. Okay. <laughs> now, so here's a very big question that this is a, um, a very typical question. Teacher, what is the difference between I and me? So what do you think is the difference between I and me, Brenda? Uh, I is a personal pronoun and me is a positive pronoun. No, because if I say no. I love you, you love me, there's I no protection. Okay. Brenda, if you need help, just say help and somebody will help you. Okay. I hope. Somebody can help me? Somebody can help Brenda? Can help. I think uh, I is a personal pronoun and me is a subject. Okay. Explain, please. Uh, for example, I need a good grades. And the other example is you and me need a good grace. Okay. I, I see I see where you're going. That's good. But do you understand Jaime? Claire? Samuel, yes. I think it's uh, it is same to the uh, like a uh, active voice voice and, and and passive voice. Okay. For example, yeah, explain to me. Active voice is we 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 use to the and uh, subject first to emphasize, and the passive voice you <clears throat> we use to the object to the emphasis. In the same case, I is we use to like a subject. In me, we used to like a uh, object. Excellent, Emma Samuel. Very good. Now, Samuel. Samuel. Yes. Very good. Can you give me that explanation? Short. What is the difference between I and me? Is uh, I 
is okay. is a subject and okay. mean is a is a is a object. Excellent. Very good, Samuel. That's it. We use I when I speak I as the subject and me is when I am the object. So here's a good example. I am going to call my mother. Who's going to do the action? I. I. So my mother is going to call me. Who's going to do the action? My mother. Ah, good. Puse mi para ver si caía alguien. Good. My mother. <laughs> and who's, go who's going to receive the action? Me. me. Very good. Yeah. So then that's the difference between I and me. So now when somebody tells you, teacher, what is the difference between I and me? I don't understand. Many people say that what you did. Um, I, you see, I is when I, when I do something and me is a possession <clears throat> or it's a subject. No, I is when I do, me is when I receive. So, Luis, Luis Mesa, are you there? Yeah. So tell me which is the correct. My brother and me bought flowers for my mother or my brother and I bought flowers for my mother? My brother and I, I guess. Why? Because uh, is the subject. Yeah, very good. Me yeah, is, uh, my brother and I, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, but, so in this case here, we have two subjects, my brother and I. And I. Bought flowers. So we both of us did the action. So in this case, yes, you are correct. My brother and I bought flowers for my mother. Some people will say my brother and me, but people, no, sometimes people, even people that speak English native, they don't know the difference between I and me. So sometimes people say, yeah, my brother and me went to the store or my girlfriend and me went to the beach on the weekend. And it's actually my brother and I. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Sure. Okay. When, when somebody asks for something and you want to answer that, I do that you are asking how how have to ask I or me? Can you give an example? For example, who who did did eat the pizza? Who ate the, the pizza? Example, who eat, uh -huh. Who ate the pizza? Who ate the pizza? Yes. I have to say me or I? I don't know. What do you think? Analyze. Take your time and think and tell me what do you think is the correct way, me or I? Okay, okay, wait. You, okay, the question is who ate the pizza? Answer complete. Who ate the pizza? Mm, I, Teacher. I ate the pizza. I ate the pizza. Very good. Okay. Why I? Because you, you did it. You're the subject. Okay. Um, somebody has a question? Uh, yes, I, I was going to ask uh, in that sentence. Uh, I'll, I guess it, uh, I will answer that with uh, I did it or it was me. Oh, I see. I see the question because sometimes people say, "Who ate the pizza?" and people say, "Me." Correct. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me. Uh. Yes, but that. Yeah. Okay. I. I see. I see now your question, Foster and Francisco. I think you asked me the question, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. In this case, yes. Who ate the pizza? Yes, you can say me, but. It's not correct. Grammatically, it's not correct. The grammatical correct way of saying is, I did. I did. Yeah. And this is what I was telling you uh, three minutes ago, that even <laughs> even gringos or native speakers, they don't know how to say, they, they, they don't know the difference between I and me. 
So they say it anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like saying más mejor. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and people say it. It's no problem, but it's not correct. It's grammatically cor not correct. Okay, so, no, but I see a good question. Okay, so class, look, these are all pronouns. So, Samuel, what is I and me? The difference one more time. I is the subject and me is the object. Very good. So, I, you, he, she, mm -hmm. we, and they are subject pronouns. Me, you, him, her, us, them are? Or object pronouns. Object pronouns. There you go. Very good. Teacher, what yes. about it? It is it. <laughs> It is the same. It's like you and you. And when you say it, it's possession. Okay, so now let's go to the simple future. Um, can you give me the, how do you know when a sentence is simple future? I will buy a new car. I'm going to buy a car. Cool. We use going or will? Okay, we use going or will. So what is the difference? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, the two are correct. The two are simple future. It's no problem, but what is the difference? Is the, I think I it's think. the moment of the action teacher. Right? Because yeah. the still going is a, is a and on the terminal, terminal, and the second one is, is uh, like uh, an action. An action is, is going to going to make a, a, a in in a few in a few hours in a few days. I think. Okay. Okay. Yes, will is an for, for will we use will for uh, wishes? Uh, I think I I will buy a new car and then show. But in yeah. in the I am going to buy a car is uh, sure. Uh, about my plans. Okay. Okay, let me see one thing. Let me ask you a question. Francisco, um, I'm sorry, who has been quiet? I think everybody has been participating today. <clears throat> I think I saw the wheel. I, I, I remember oh, the, the, the wheel is uh, something like a uh, uh, probability. Will is maybe is possible or not possible is a uh, fifteen uh, percent, and I I going to is on the almost este one hundred percent because you are very sure the the the, the, the action you will do is, is is sure. Okay, Flor, are you there? Hello. Hi, Flor. How are you? I am fine. Um, Flor, can you give me an example? Flor, do you have children? Yes, I have. How old is your children? Are your children? I'm sorry. Seven. She is seven years old. Okay. Okay. So... Flor, imagine your daughter asks you in Spanish, Mamá, ¿qué es la diferencia de yo compraré un carro y yo voy a comprar un carro? What is your explanation I, to your daughter? I, I think 
is um, I will uh, yo compraré uh -huh. es um, una probabilidad remember I your daughter remember your daughter is seven years old so she has to <laughs> she has to understand <laughs> I I I think uh, yo compraré mm -hmm. is, uh, um, uh, a drink and yo voy a comprar is um, <laughs> it's very very complicated because I I think uh, and I, yo compraré is a drink. And it's a drink. Voy a comprar, yes. It's a, it's a, a probability. And <coughs> I, yo voy a comprar is a, um, I think, uh, it's okay. Mm. No, don't worry. I mean, everybody, I mean, it's the same thing. I will buy a new car and I'm going to buy a car, a new car, I'm sorry. But sometimes the difference is very small and sometimes the difference is very big. Okay, so let me explain. Okay, what is will? Auxiliar. It's the auxiliary. Auxiliary verb Let me see. Will is something that you wish. Do you see my screen right now? Yes, yes. A rapid decision. Let me see. What what do you see on my screen right now? <clears throat> yes. Your single, your single will. will. Your single will. Okay, good. But let me see the explanation of will. It's not giving me the explanation I want. Just the word will is voluntad. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Oh man, I want to example because I don't smoke, but this is an example. I want to stop smoking, but I don't have the will. ¿Qué dije? Good. Yeah, oh man, I don't have the will. It's like when people say, oh man, I want to go to the gym, I want to be on a diet, but I don't have the will. Okay, so will is voluntary. Correct? Yes. And okay. in grammar, I mean, it's future. En gramática ya no es voluntad. En gramática en español es hará, eré. Comeré, iré, beberé, compraré. Right? So, this is the difference between going to and will. Maricela? Yes. Hi. Hi. Maricela, are you married? Yes, I am married. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need a single woman. Who is single? Or who has a boyfriend? Or a girlfriend? Gloria, are you married? Uh, yes, teacher, but I broke up my... my uh... Oh, so you're divorced. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Madeline, Yesenia, Brenda, Elizabeth, are you guys married or boyfriend? Please tell me somebody has a boyfriend. I'm married. No. No. I'm single. Oh, okay. I'm single, but I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, uh, Madeline, imagine you have a boyfriend. <laughs> Let's make this easier. <laughs> imagine you have a boyfriend, okay? Uh huh. Have you seen in the movies? Have you seen in the movies when when they ask to get married? Do they say this? Will you marry me? Yes, I I have seen in the movies okay. that. You're never going to see this. You never seen this, right? No. You, you see this, right? Yes, the first. Okay, so what is will? What is my? What what did I tell you that will ma means? Voluntary. Good. So that you have the. <laughs> So when you say, will you marry me? Your answer is, yes, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> I will. Yes, I will. Entonces, si lo haré. De su propia voluntad, right? Correct? Yes. Entonces, de su voluntad, usted se ha comprometido. Correct? Okay. So, the difference between will and going to class, will is a compromise. Mm. Going to is a plan. Okay. So, listen, the two here are correct. It's okay. The two here are correct. Hey, I will buy a new car and I'm going to buy a new car. It's no problem. The two are correct. Sometimes the difference is very, very, very little. But sometimes the difference is very, very big. Because people say, hey, lo mismo. I will buy a new car. I'm going to buy a new car. Yes, it is. But why? People say, will you marry me? And people don't say, are you going to marry me? So when you say I will, it's because you're compromising yourself. Imagine, imagine Foster has a barbecue in his house Saturday night and he invited me. And I said, okay, yeah, I will go. So Saturday night, I am compromised. But here comes Luis and he tells me, hey, teacher, Saturday night, let's go play soccer. I said, oh, no, I can't. Why? Because Saturday night, I will go to Foster's house. He invited me to a barbecue. You see how I use will there and not going to? Class? Yes. Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or I can say this. Oh, I can't, Luis. Why not? Because uh, Saturday night, I'm going to go to Foster's house because he invited me to a uh, barbecue. But, but the difference is, when you say will is strong, it's more commitment, compromise. And going to is a plan. Let me give you another example. A class. I have a question. Yes, Victor. Uh, about the, the first example, about the cat and the, and the mouse, we can use the mouse will be eaten by the cat. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you, you can say, hey, look, the cat will eat the mouse or the mouse will be eaten by the cat. Yes, no problem. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Yes, Gloria. I have a, a question. question. Uh, can you affect the time uh, when we uh, realize, realize the action, for Correct. example, if the many years uh, I buy a car or 
if the I buy a car, I, I buy a car the next month. I mean, the compliment is no problem. The, the compliment is no problem because it's simple future. So I will buy, you can say I will buy a new car in two years or I'm going to buy a car in two years or I'm, I will buy a new car next month or I'm going to buy a car next month. Okay. Okay, let me give you an example here. Imagine I have a girlfriend and I say, hey guys, um, my girlfriend and I, we're going to get married. Am I speaking a plan or I will, or, or a compromise? A plan. plan. It's a plan. Yeah. The, uh -huh, it's a because, plan because, because, because normally, he was going. yeah, because normally a, a, a high class look, hey, I'm going to get married with my girlfriend. Oh yeah, really? When? I don't know, maybe next year. Yeah. Oh, it's a plan. <laughs> I don't know, maybe next year. But if I say, hey, class, uh, here's an invitation. I will get married on September 14th. That's not a plan. That's not a plan. That's a compromise, yeah. no? Compromise. Eso significa de que I went to a hotel, I reserved September 14th and blah, 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 blah. So I, that September 14th, I am compromised. Well, maybe things can change, but at this moment, I'm compromised for September 14th. I will get married. Yes? Yes. So that's that's the difference yes. between, that's a, in, in Spanish too, that's the difference between uh, going to and will. It's the difference between compraré un carro y voy a comprar un carro. Yes? Los que son padres en diciembre con el bono navideño, hey, ¿qué vas a hacer? Pagaré la matrícula. O voy a pagar la matrícula de mi hijo. Pagaré que ya estoy comprometido que cuando me paguen eso, pum, matrícula. Voy a pagar, se oye más como un plan. Pueda que no. O me compro la tele de 50 pulgadas. <laughs> it's voluntary, teacher. It's voluntary. Yeah, entonces, <laughs> sí, cu cuando uno dice voluntary, voluntario, hasta cierto punto, el voluntario equivale a un compromiso. Por eso es que cuando alguien dice, Class, Sunday I'm going to paint my house. Who wants to help me? Ahí uno dice, I will. I will. You're compromising. It's your voluntary, you know. Okay, so okay. Re remember I told you, but in conclusion, the two are the same, the two are correct, but sometimes if you want to be more specific, that's, that's the difference. Will is a compromise, going to is a plan. Okay? Okay. 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 Um, oh man, yes. Que corto el tiempo. Okay, well, tomorrow we're going to continue with simple future, simple present, and simple past in active and passive voice, okay? So, okay. no vamos a pasar a este si no entendemos este. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, class. Okay, good night. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.